Hello, everyone. Thank you for signing on to today's Amtrak Vacations presentation on overnight rail experiences. I'm so excited to have all of you folks here on the presentation with me today. Now, I see some of you folks have already typed some questions in to, into the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. The rest of you, anyone signing on, please feel free to type your questions in as well. I will take time at the end of the presentation to answer the questions you have for me. Popping up onto your screen now is a picture of me. I'm your host, Jarrett Kettinger, the business development executive with Amtrak Vacations. And so I'm so excited to have everybody. And uh, I know I look like I've, uh, I'm a young kid, but I've actually been with the company for going on seven years now. So feel free to pose any questions to me as they are. We have a downloadable handout for you, just so you folks know on the side of the GoToWebinar panel. You'll see that it is highlighting the sleeper accommodations on the train. So feel free to click on that, download it, and utilize those free downloads as we include for you. Pop up, popping up onto your screen now is the Amtrak Vacation Systems map. Everywhere you folks are seeing a colorful line on the map, that's a route that Amtrak travels on. So you can see so many of the different options on the presentation. And we, everywhere you're seeing a dark blue or navy blue dot, that's a destination that Amtrak Vacations travels to, where we have hotels, sightseeing, and attractions all bundled together with the rail travel experience. Now, who here, and feel free to type yes or no, but who here was aware that Amtrak Vacations could actually book into Canada? Did any of you folks know that? Oh, I'm seeing some yeses come across and a couple of no's, so that's that's okay whether you are a yes or a no. But good, important things to note is that, yes, we crossed the border up into Canada. We crossed the border up into Montreal, Niagara Falls, Toronto, and Vancouver. And we can book the Cross Canada Via Rail systems as well. Now, what makes Amtrak vacations different? Number one, we're a bucket list experience. I can't tell you how many of our past travelers said that the number one reason that they went with us in the first place was that it was a key opportunity to check an item off of their bucket list. Freedom and flexibility. We can customize or tailor make our travel experiences to fit your particular travel needs, and I'll elaborate on that in a few minutes. Hassle-free. Hassle-free because all you have to do to book is give us a call at 1-800-268-7252, and you can chat with a friendly vacation consultant that will line everything up and put everything together for you. We are the official tour operator for Amtrak, and so no one anywhere in the world can officially say that they are Amtrak's vacation provider. We do city-to-city -city service. We travel from downtown city to downtown city all throughout the USA and Canada. And we have a little something for everyone, whether it's traveling cross country and seeing the country from the window of the train or going to a destination you've always wanted to go to or just one moment, one experience on the trip that makes everything worth it. We have a little something for everyone. Popping up onto your screen now is the customization slide. So let's go and talk about what we can do because customize is a big word, right folks? Well, let, let's go and talk about what we can do here. So hypothetically, say you were looking on our website or in a brochure and you saw, saw our Rails to the Grand Canyon itinerary. This includes two overnights on board the train going from Los Angeles out to historic Route 66, Williams, Arizona, and then back again. Now, upon arriving in Route 66, Williams, Arizona, we include the Grand Canyon Railway, which travels through the desert and the forests from Williams into the south rim of the Grand Canyon. There we have your, you staying for two nights at the south rim with a sightseeing opportunity before taking the train back to Williams and then the Amtrak back to Los Angeles. Now, imagine that you wanted to do not two nights, but three nights. How could you facilitate that? Well, through us, 
We can add a third night or subtract a night or add two more nights, however you want to do. But we can add extra nights to the itinerary. And then what if you looked at it and said, well, we kind of want to upgrade of a hotel. There's the starting from property hotel that we include in the package, but we want to upgrade. No problem. We can take care of that for you. And then what if you said, well, we want to spend some time in Los Angeles before or after the trip. I might as well do that, so seeing as I'm going all the way out to either start the trip in L.A. or end the trip in L.A. You're going to have to do both. So we might take the Los Angeles getaway and add it to the package. So we would have taken the original itinerary, added extra nights, upgraded the hotel, and then added a whole other itinerary in Los Angeles to the package, creating your own customized itinerary. Does that make sense for you now, folks, when I say that we can customize trips? Yes? I hope yes. Excellent. I'm seeing some yeses come across, so that is excellent. We can customize any of our itineraries to fit your travel needs. Now let's talk about some packages, such as the New York City Ultimate Getaway, which includes three nights hotel accommodations with a New York City City Pass, which includes admission to five different excursions and attractions all throughout the city, such as the 9-11 Memorial, the Empire State Building, ferry over to the Statue of Liberty. We also include the hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tours, those are those double-decker buses where you can travel throughout the city getting on and off the bus at your leisure. We also include dinner at a local restaurant. So that's actually at the top of the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. And the, the restaurant itself actually revolves 360 degrees. Anybody here excited to go to New York? I know I am. Now, let's talk about the overnight travel on board the train. So, this first package is Glacier National Park Express. Was anyone aware, yes or no, and you can feel free to type in yes or no into the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar panel, but was anyone aware that Glacier National Park is our top selling destination? Oh, mostly knows on this one. Well, this is why we do the presentation. And someone, I actually got a really, I love getting reallys because yes, Glacier National Park is our top seller. This itinerary includes two nights in Chicago, as you can see indicated by the little bubble with the two in it, before traveling overnight on board the Empire Builder. Folks, just so you know, the Empire Builder is regularly voted the number three most scenic rail route on the Amtrak system. You'll travel overnight on board the train, past the Great Lakes, through the Northern Plains, and out to Glacier National Park for three nights in Glacier, as you can see indicated by the little bubble. After the three nights in Glacier, you'll board the Empire Builder yet again and go overnight out to Seattle for a two-night stay in Seattle. And here you can see why Glacier ranks as our number three most scenic rail route. It travels through the forests. It cuts along the mountain ranges. It goes over the Gasman Cooley Trestle, which is this giant bridge some 200-odd feet in the air. It's amazing. And you will get to experience this along the way from Chicago to Glacier and Glacier to Seattle. Now, you will stay in Chicago for two nights with a sightseeing architecture cruise, which you can actually see the boat cruise in the picture that you will be traveling on. And Chicago itself is known for its incredible, absolutely incredible architecture. So you'll go out, you'll have the great experience, and you'll get to see Chicago, the Windy City, at its best. Then you'll head up for another cruise up in Glacier, actually. So you get two cruises for the price of one package all on one trip, and that's the Two Medicine Valley Boat Cruise out in Glacier Park. Glacier is known for its 
millions of acres. It's beautiful glaciers. It's amazing mountains and the pristine lakes that you will experience on the Two Medicine Valley boat cruise. And if you are lucky, folks, you might get to see a bear or a deer or a moose grazing from the water's edge. But you're out on the lake on the boat, so you're safe. And fun fact, because you are on the Two Medicine Valley boat cruise at the 9 a.m. hour, that's where most of our cruises travel out, you are actually able to opt into a ranger-led hike throughout the park off of the boat cruise if you want. It's completely free. We also include the Big Sky Circle Tour, which is a fully guided tour throughout the park done on those red jammer buses. Then the drivers are the actual jammers because occasionally they have to jam the brakes a little bit. And they have a funny anecdote. They say if they have the same amount of travelers on the tour at the end of the day that they had when they started the tour at the beginning of the day, they're actually allowed to run the tour the next day. Take that what you will. But that's the jammer's anecdote. Then you'll head out to Seattle for a two-night stay in Seattle with admission to Space Needle, the Chihuly Garden and Glass exhibit, and a fully guided tour of the city. That, folks, is the Glacier National Park Express. Has anyone here ever wanted to go up to Glacier? Or do you want to go up to Glacier now? Yes or no? Oh, I even have someone that said they're already booked on this trip to go out in uh, June. Patricia, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, next, we have Grand National Parks with Yellowstone, Yosemite, and the Grand Canyon all in one trip. So imagine you're going to get three major national parks all blended together on one vacation experience. You get the number one most scenic railroad on the Amtrak system, regularly voted year over year from Chicago on the California Zephyr going out west through the Rocky Mountains and heading out to Salt Lake City for a one-night stay in Salt Lake City and a two-night stay up in Yellowstone. You'll then finish the route going overnight to San Francisco for a two-night stay in San Francisco with a full tour through Yosemite National Park. And then you'll get the number two most scenic railroad on the Amtrak system, the Coast Starlight, which will run between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Then the number four most scenic railroad on the Amtrak system, the Southwest Chief, that'll be running between Los Angeles out to Williams, Arizona for one night in Williams, one night in the Grand Canyon, and then finishing the big loop back to Chicago. The California Zephyr, just as a reminder, just mentioned it, but going to mention again, is the number one most scenic railroad on the Amtrak system because it travels through the mountains. Then we have the number two most scenic railroad, which is the Coast Starlight, which will travel between San Francisco and Los Angeles, cutting along the coast of California. You can see some of the little beach. It's at the top of the picture, but you folks can kind of get an idea of what you will be experiencing. And then the Southwest Chief to take in the Red Rocks, canyon views, and desert landscape traveling between Los Angeles and then back to Chicago. And I have Sally who mentioned that she has ridden the California Zephyr before years ago between California and Chicago, and she put it in all caps. It was a great trip. There you go, folks. We also include stays in Salt Lake City with dinner at the Roof Restaurant, which is on the top floor, the 10th floor of the Joseph Smith Memorial Building. And it's a five-star gourmet buffet with a five-star dessert buffet. So take of that what you will. We'll have you stay up in Yellowstone with a full lower loop tour of the park. And you're guaranteed to see the Painted Pots Highway with all the hot springs, the Grand Prismatic Spring, as you can see in the picture here. That's what that is called. 
and Old Faithful Geyser, which you are guaranteed to see erupt at least once on the tour. You'll get a full day tour out to Yosemite with views of waterfalls, the giant fir trees, the mountains, El Capitan, and you are given three hours of free time to explore the park on your own on the trip. And we will send you down to visit the Grand Canyon. And so you will get to actually stay in the Grand Canyon with round trip service on the Grand Canyon Railway included and a motor coach Freedom Rim tour of the Grand Canyon South Rim. We also have you staying in Los Angeles with a city tour of the City of Angels. And that, folks, is the Grand National Parks with Yellowstone, Yosemite, and the Grand Canyon. And we did have a question on how to get up into Yellowstone. It is a scenic sightseeing motor coach bus ride between Salt Lake City and Yellowstone. And then once you're in Yellowstone, you spend two nights with a sightseeing tour done on a motor coach throughout the park. Next up, we have the Grand National Parks Discovery on the California Zephyr. This was a brand new package last year, and it went all the way to the top of sold packages because of the wonderful itinerary. This includes two nights in Denver with a full day tour to Rocky Mountain National Park before taking the beautiful California Zephyr through the mountains out to Grand Junction. And here's how we do this then. Once you arrive in Grand Junction, you spend one night at a hotel. The next day you wake up and you have a private driver with a private luxury SUV that's going to drive you through Arches, Canyonlands, Zion, Bryce, and Capitol Reef through the next couple of days to go through all five major Utah parks. After that, the driver will bring you back to Grand Junction. You'll spend one more night in Grand Junction before taking the California Zephyr out to Salt Lake City for one night stay in Salt Lake City, transferring up for two nights in Yellowstone, and then going back down to Salt Lake City and catching that California Zephyr ride out to San Francisco for two nights in San Francisco with a day tour out to Yosemite. Again, folks, the California Zephyr is the number one voted year-over-year -year most scenic rail route on the Amtrak system. You'll get a full-day guided tour on a Mercedes Sprinter van, so there's no more than 10 people on that tour at a time out to Rocky Mountain National Park. You'll have full-day trips through Arches and Canyonlands, Zion, and Bryce Canyon and Capitol Reef on the trip, as well as a journey up into Yellowstone for a couple of nights stay in Yellowstone, and a full day tour out to Yosemite National Park by way of San Francisco. So that, folks, is the Grand National Parks on the California Zephyr. Then we have the Grand Rail Experience. So this includes two one, two, one, and one overnights on the train. So you will get a big loop on board the train from Chicago, two nights out to Seattle for a two nights stay actually in Seattle, then taking the Coast Starlight on its full run from Seattle to Los Angeles for a one night stay in Los Angeles, taking two nights on the train for the full run from Los Angeles to New Orleans on the Sunset Limited, spending two nights in New Orleans, and then taking the Crescent Route up into Washington, D.C. for a one-night stay in Washington and taking the train overnight from Washington to Chicago. We have the Empire Builder, regularly voted number three for the most scenic railroad on the Amtrak system. We have the Coast Starlight, regularly voting number two for the most scenic on the Amtrak system. You'll be staying for two nights in Seattle with a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour. You can see the Space Needle 
in the background. You'll get to travel out there. Have one night in Los Angeles with a full hop-on, hop-off tour of the city as well. New Orleans for two nights with a fully guided tour of the French Quarter, the Cities of the Dead, which are the um, the mausoleums and in, in the graveyards out there, as well as some plantations and the uh, the bayous as well. And a fully guided tour of the monuments by moonlight in Washington, D.C., which is an amazing experience to see the Martin Luther King Memorial, the FDR Memorial, the Vietnam War Memorial, the uh, World War II Memorial. It is incredible. And that, folks, is the Grand Rail experience. And we just had a gentleman named Edwin say, this is the one I will be on. So I hope this is the one all of you will be on at some point on your uh, on your uh, bucket list, your travel bucket list. And then we have the Great American Majestic Landscapes. This itinerary has actually existed as long as I've existed with the company, which is going on seven years now. It includes four, four major U.S. cities, New York City for two nights, Chicago for two nights. Denver for two nights, and San Francisco for two nights, with one national park, Rocky Mountain National Park, and a winery tour out into Napa. You have to come up with reasons to not want to go on this trip. Four U.S. cities, national parks, wineries. Come on, it's easy. We all do all of it, or the majority of it, I should say, on the California Zephyr from Chicago to Denver to San Francisco with the several options from New York to uh, Chicago. With two nights stay in New York City, two nights stay in Chicago with hop on hop off sightseeing tours there and admission to the city pass. And you can see some of the inclusions included there as well. Two nights stay in Denver, the mile high city with a full day tour to Rocky Mountain National Park. And if this doesn't show you why you want to visit Rocky Mountain National Park, I don't know what will. And then heading out to San Francisco for two nights stay there with a full day tour out to Napa Valley. Now, here's some good news, folks. When you go to stay at these major city destinations for those two nights, those one night, those three nights, whatever it may be, we have a menu of hotel options, three, four, and five star for you to choose from for your itinerary. You just need to tell us what you're used to staying in. And packing on the train is very easy. We allow two carry-ons of up to 50 pounds each and two check bags of up to 50 pounds each, and that's per person, and that's completely free. Additionally, we're constantly getting questions of when you should get to the train station ahead of your departure. We usually say get there 45 minutes to an hour ahead of time. Now, let's talk about the accommodations on the train. Coach accommodations are the starting from, with they're the base, which have two big plush comfy seats, outlets to charge the devices in, a big picture window to enjoy the sights out of, plenty of room head above for luggage, and plenty of leg room for you to sit back, relax, stretch out, and enjoy. The next step up is the sleeper roomette which is its own cabin on the train with a door that will shut and lock, blinds that will go over the windows for privacy. At night, everything folds down a bunk-style sleeping, as you can see by the diagram. Two big plush seats to sit back, relax, and just enjoy the scenery rushing by. Now, you're probably looking at this and saying, I don't see a bathroom included within this cabin. That is correct. The bathrooms are down the hall. There's four bathrooms to every room at car. And only those staying in that roomette car have access to those bathrooms. And there is a train car attendant that's constantly going in and cleaning everything out, you know, breaking his elbows, getting everything ship shape in Bristol fashion. But if you wanted your own private bathroom and shower in the room itself, the next step up is the sleeper bedroom, which is a, the biggest cabin on the train with a long couch, a 
big picture window, a big captain's chair, as you can see in the picture. Everything still does fold down to bunk style sleeping, but it has its own private bathroom and shower in the room itself. Now, dining on the train is included whenever you have a roomette or a bedroom. The meals are fresh cooked to order by a trained chef. So you do have an onboard chef that's making everything. You have breakfast, lunch, and dinner included. And the menu has so many options for you to choose from, such as an omelet. As you can see, someone from who's clearly from California got the omelet up for breakfast there because they had the avocado all over the thing. Uh, or choo-choo French toast or eggs and bacon and toast. For lunch, there's always a big juicy cheeseburger or a salad option. And for dinner, there's always a special of the evening and my favorite, the Amtrak signature steak, just to mention. And save room for dessert because dessert is included with both, both lunch and dinner. We have everyday discounts. So these discounts are off the base portion of the Amtrak ticket. Children aged 2 to 12 receive half off, 50% off the rail portion of the Amtrak package. Seniors 65 and over receive 10% off the base fare portion of the Amtrak package. And then any active military personnel, spouses, and dependents receive 10% off the base portion of the Amtrak package. Now, question, do we have any veterans on the presentation today, yes or no? And feel free to type yes in, because I want to see if we have any veterans on the presentation today. Yes, awesome. Oh, and folks currently serving. Excellent. What, uh, what branch of the military did you serve in? See Navy, Air Force, Army, more Army, excellent, and more Air Force, beautiful. Well, folks, I want to let you know a, a more Navy coming in, excellent. Here we, here I have a special announcement. That active military discount is now shared to every veteran, and so. You you can now have the veterans advantage discount for everything for the every Amtrak trip you're going to go now. It used to be you have to be on a, a veterans advantage program. You do not need that anymore. All you have to do is to mention to us that you are a veteran, and we will give you the discount. Just a reminder, folks, we have a free downloadable handout highlighting the sleeper compartments on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. So feel free to download them and take them with you. And I get this on every presentation. Uh, can we combine the senior and the veteran? I wish I could say yes. Unfortunately, you do have to do one or the other. Now, here's a question for you, because I'm going to start answering your questions. But what real vacation are you interested in? Where do you want to go? When do you want to go? Type that into the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar platform, and I'm going to start answering your questions. What is the biggest sleeping room for two adults? That would be the bedroom. So that was the one I just showed a second ago. The largest room on the train, that is the bedroom itself. As for pricing, I can't give pricing away on the presentation because the pricing could be whatever, wherever, whenever, wherever you're going. So to get exact pricing, give us a call at 1-800-268-7252. Someone's asking, how can, who can I work with to go from Newark to Portland, Oregon? That would be the call center consultants at, that you can get and reach at 1-800-268-7252. We get this question all the time. I uh, People saying, I hear that Amtrak is removing the dining car or the meal services are not included anymore. I get that all the time. It's false narrative. Let me tell you what is exactly happening. On the uh, uh, Viewliner trains, everything Chicago East, the dining cars are being removed, but a special club car 
is being added to the train for only those in the roomettes and bedrooms. And all the meals will either be served in the club car or the roomettes and bedrooms at the traveler's choice. So it's your choice whether you go down to the club car with the meals or have them delivered to the room. Those in coach will have to purchase the meals out of pocket. They won't have access to that club car. Now, on the superliners, everything going Chicago West, the dining cars are remaining. So if you're hearing that meals are being removed, that's not true. Someone's asking about ADA accessible travel. We've gotten a lot of questions on that. There are ADA accessible rooms on the lower level of the train. There's four of them to every train. And so if you are an ADA accessible traveler, please call us and book ASAP because those are the four first to go. Someone said, if I book a sleeper, how do I know which side of the train has better views? Well, that's a tough question because there's good views on both sides of the train. It really just depends when you're traveling and where you're traveling through. Now, we book the system and we book all of it to have the best experience for you, but it re really just determines when you're traveling and where you're going through. And so there are you should be able to see wonderful experiences the whole way. Let's see. Someone saying, are the trips all or nothing, or can we take specific segments without it costing more? It's not all or nothing. Either you take the packages that we create, or if you have something that you want to do that's specific that we don't have, we'll just create it to fit your needs. So you can take some segments, you can do the whole package, you can create your own package. It's not set in stone. It's how to fit your needs. Do we get tour guides? Yes, on the specific day tours. So you're not along with 40, 50 other people on a bus with an escorted tour guide. We do provide you all the documents ahead of time. You travel on your own. However, when you get to the destinations and you go on those specific tours, there will be a tour guide. Someone's asking, can I book the Grand Rail experience but stay longer at the stops? Absolutely. We can customize any of our itineraries to fit your travel needs. Someone's asking, are the roomettes are the same size on all the trains? Yes. And we have someone asking, I live in California, but I, all the tours that you're showing are starting from Washington, D.C. or Chicago. Those are just major stations. We can start off at any of the 500 different stations all throughout the USA and Canada. So our packages may look like they start in some place because that may be a jumping off point, but it's not the only jumping off point. So we can start from any of the 500 stations. And we have... We asked someone that called me on my uh, soliloquy. Uh, they're saying that the largest room on the train isn't the bedroom, it's the family bedroom. That is technically true because uh, it does fit two adults and two small children. I say the bedrooms because family bedrooms are few and far between when you're booking them. And so most people book the bedrooms, and that tends to be bigger than the roomette, which is the biggest. So. The gentleman did catch me on my soliloquy. It, it, it is the family bedroom does is technically the biggest room, but most folks don't book the family bedrooms because it's for two adults and two small, small children. The ADA accessible rooms are also quite big. Um, you, you caught me on it today. I'm just I, I have my own way of going about things. The bedroom is a sizable room. It's the biggest above the roomette. So you, you caught me on it. I'm sorry, folks. Do we offer ADA special sleepers? Absolutely, we do. As for costs, I'm, con I'm always getting asked for costs of things. We don't do uh, the costs on the webinar because you could be coming from anywhere at any time with any you know uh, destination and any starting off point. 
to get a cost, you have to call 1-800-268-7252. So someone's asking if they uh, want to sleep in the chairs. They don't want to go in the roomettes or bedrooms. They want the coach. How do they sleep? Well, the seat, seats recline at a 45-degree angle. You can bring your own blanket or buy one on the train. Uh, you know, Bring your own pillow. Feel free to do that. It's no problem. People do it all the time. Uh, someone's asking, is the dining from scratch or an airline-type food? It is from scratch. It's cooked to order. We have people that, let's see, they want to go coast to coast to the Grand Canyon, Louisiana to Boston. I'm up in Boston. Come on, visit me. Does weather affect the trips normally? Not normally, unless there's, you know, a ridiculous amount of snow or or something. It's it's usually the trains are on the tracks. Then they're, they're going, they're just going straight. They're not going anywhere else. So they're usually fine. Someone is asking a very good question. Do we go other places other than what's listed in the brochure? The brochure is our most popular trips. And so those are the trips that sell the most, but that's not always sell. We uh, check our website. We have so many different options to choose from. Let's see. People want to go to Glacier National Park, Grand Canyon, Canada. Someone's already booked on the Grand National Park trips. Let's see, Los Angeles. So someone asked, are there journeys from Chicago that don't include the stay in Chicago? Can you just jump off or get on the train in Chicago? Absolutely, that's no problem at all. You do not have to stay there. Uh, someone's asking if they book again on the rooms where the room is on the side of the train it there the rooms themselves are uh, depending on it the bedrooms are usually most of the time almost every time on the right side of the train for sightseeing that being said both sides of the train benefit from the sightseeing so if you're on one side as opposed to another don't be uh, out of shape bent out of shape because it just depends on what you're seeing, when you're seeing, and where you're seeing it from. Uh, someone interested, Grand Canyon, but from Chicago. Someone's asking, if I booked the trip and I didn't think about telling them that I was a senior, can I still get the senior discount after the fact? Yeah, just give us a call in. Talk to our uh, customer service team. They should be able to facilitate that for you. Is it extra for solo travelers? I get this all the time. It's not extra. What it is is, is you're paying 100% for a hotel room, 100% for a cabin on the train, as opposed to splitting the cost between two people. You're not really paying any more than what two people would normally pay anyways, except for you're actually going to pay less be, in some ways because you're not buying two tickets to a tour, two tickets on the train two dinner vouchers, you're paying for one. So yes, it does sometimes appear to be more because you're splitting the price, not at all, as opposed to splitting the price between two people, but it really isn't more. Uh, someone asked what the excursions are to Canada. We go up into the Canadian Rockies. We go out to Montreal, Niagara Falls, Halifax, Toronto, Ottawa, Vancouver, Victoria. Did I mention enough for you for Canada? Uh, what are the arrangements made for bicycles and for disability scooters? Those both get checked into the checked luggage cabin. Someone asked, will a roomette be comfortable for a man that's 6'2 and a woman that's around 5'10? Yes, because I can tell you. There were, there, we've sent people out that were both two gentlemen that were six six feet and tall and over, both of them. They shared the cabin, and they were fine. Our tips amenities are a separate, separate fee. Yes, we do not pay for tips. You will have to pay that out of pocket when you travel. 
We do not advise on how much to tip. That is totally up to your conscience. How is seating determined in the coach cars? Well, you board the train and you select your seating. Then a conductor comes around and marks the seat off as yours. Someone's asking, if you book a sleeper, can you go and sit and coach? Absolutely. Just make sure it's an open seat that is not taken. You are free to do that. I have Lawrence. Lawrence is the same gentleman who called me on the bedroom sizing. I, I was just going over my, not my script, but the way I say things. But Lawrence, I will also thank him for calling me on what is right and wrong. Because, you know, you go through what you say and, you know, sometimes you just say something a little bit off. But what Lawrence said was, in his experience, Amtrak's vacation consultants are first rate, never rush us, great helping sort things out, and no details hands down. So I want to say thank you to Lawrence for, for keeping us up on this itinerary and on this presentation today. Do uh, someone's asking, do we have smaller travel packages where you stay maybe one to three nights stay? Absolutely. They're called getaways, a getaway to New York. I showed that at the beginning. Getaway to New Orleans, Seattle, Chicago, Boston. Come visit me in Boston. We do all of that. Someone's asking, do we have to port our own luggage at the stations? If it is a manned station or a station that has employees, then you we can add red cap assistance and they will you know move it for you but that's at those big stations between the station and the hotel you have to move your own luggage can you arrange rental cars at certain stops very select places such as salt lake city up to yellowstone or memphis out to to drive out to nashville only very select places for rental cars are pets allowed in bedrooms they are not unless they're a service animal. And it has to be a service animal with the documentation of what services that animal is providing. We had uh, Connie say that they created their own itinerary. Uh, it was very easy. The agent was great. Thank you, Connie. Someone's asking what a hop on hop off tour is. Very good question. Those are those double decker buses that stop at the major attractions in the major US cities. So imagine New York and you're in Times Square and you take the hop on hop off bus, those double decker buses and there's a tour guide and it delivers you to Fifth Avenue. You do a little shopping, get back on the bus, go out and drop it all your shopping off at your hotel, get back on the bus, go out to Central Park or go across the Golden Gate Bridge or the Brooklyn Bridge and you can see all the attractions. That's a hop on hop off. Again, someone's asking if you're in a sleeper compartment, can you go out to the uh, coach seats during the day? Absolutely. How far in advance can I book a customized tour? Up to two years. Are tours available for ADA accessible travelers? Absolutely. So someone's saying they live in Houston, not seeing where taking a destination is possible. Well, if you're starting in Houston, there's a station there and we have over 60 destinations with hotels, sightseeing attractions, with the train experience, all bundled together. Someone's saying, do you handle the luggage from the train to the hotel? No, that is through a, a cab or an Uber or Lyft, and you will have to move your own luggage. We don't have folks that can go between point A and point B. Someone's asking, when calling the 800 number that you're seeing, can you get a quote without actually booking at that time? Absolutely. We can send you a quote through email. You review it. If you like it, that's great. You call back and book. If not, you call back and revise it or get a new quote. No problem at all. Uh, it is not. Someone's asking if it's possible to fit two people in one bunk. It is not. You are not going to comfortably fit two people in a bunk. You will be squished. As for transportation between Midway Airport in Chicago to the Union Station in Chicago, that would be a cab on your own. That's not on us.
Someone's asking if I wanted to travel between the uh, up to Calgary for a conference and then return, would I book a trip through Amtrak Vacations? Of course you would. That's no problem at all. Lawrence, who's now become essentially my assistant for the presentation, I, I think we got to put him on the payroll, mentioned that, yes, Amtrak uh, credit cards exist, and you can build up points through that. Uh, absolutely. It's like a frequent flyer thing, uh, like like the airlines. Lawrence, we got to talk about getting you contracted with us here. You're, you're going to we'll, we'll do a Laurel and Hardy type of thing between you and me at this point. Uh, you do not. Someone's asking for the Southwest Chief and all the trains. Uh, do, do we need to bring blankets and pillows? No, those are provided. How far in advance can you book a tour? Up to two years in advance. How is luggage transferred from train to train, train to hotel? I'll answer that one more time and one more time only. That is in the station. If it's a man station, you will, if there, which man station means that there are employees, it's a big station, then the red cap service will move the luggage for you. If you're going between the train station to the hotel, you have to move the luggage. Usually you're going to transfer a cab or a Lyft or Uber. Someone's asking about Mardi Gras in special events like the Rose Bowl. We don't cover those. Hotels don't tend to give the availability out to the providers like Amtrak Vacations and other providers. The reason why, they sell them well on their own and don't really need us to, to sell it for them. So as for Mardi Gras, Rose Bowl, you know, Times Square on New Year's Eve, we, we really don't get involved in that because it, you, you're, you're going to be able to book it anyways to the hotels and they don't really need us. Someone's asking the best way to sleep three people. The answer is there's no best way. You would want to book two cabins, whether it's two roomettes, two bedrooms, whatever it may be, a roomette and a bedroom. Uh, there's no three-person sleeper on the train. I just got to be brutally honest with you. So uh, someone's asking about if you're in coach, how do you eat? Well, there's options. You can either go to the cafe car and purchase meals out of there. You can bring your own snacks, sandwiches, whatever the whatever you want to bring on the train. That's perfectly fine. Or if you're on the long distance trains going Chicago West on the Superliners, if there are reservations available for the dining car, you can purchase it out of pocket in the dining car as well. We do not cover travel from the train station to the hotel. That's out of pocket. Uh, you, uh, let's see. Uh, someone's asking, I just joined the webinar a few minutes ago. Is there a replay option? I will be running one more presentation at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Repeating that, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. If you want to sign on, then you can. Or a recording will be emailed to you of one of the presentations tomorrow. Someone's asking, um, you know, are you, what are the luggage restrictions? Well, you're allowed to bring two carry-ons of up to 50 pounds each and two check bags of up to 50 pounds each, and that's per person, and that's completely free. Now, we do not provide any, uh, uh, assistance from the train station to the hotel. I need to emphasize that. That is on your own. What we suggest is either wait, going out to grab a cab or getting the Uber or Lyft applications for your phone. And if you are concerned about having that ahead of the trip, then I would call into the cities and have them do a point A to point B and line it all up ahead of time. Uh, someone's saying my husband used a CPAP machine. Would that be allowed in coach? I wouldn't see a problem in coach. There are outlets, uh, but I would suggest if there they are concerns about utilizing a CPAP machine, I'd probably suggest using it in a sleeper compartment. Uh, someone asked, is travel insurance recommended? 
absolutely we have trip protection that we can sell to you. We can put it in the packages and in the cost. Size restrictions on the carry-ons that you will be able to find on AmtrakVacations.com under trip planning. I'm not the statistics numbers guy. I wish I was that you have to find online. Coming in again, clutch, as the millennials like to say here. Um, my good friend Lawrence is saying that his son took his family from D.C. to Chicago via way of Amtrak. They booked two adjacent bedrooms. It's allowed them to open the doors between the full bedrooms and have a rolling apartment, as he would like to say. Uh, huge size space, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. They have three kids, so that was ideal. But if it's a several couples, they might want to have arrangement like it or something else. You know, that's great. Lawrence, again, we're going to have to contract you. Like, I hope the Patriots recontract Tom Brady. And uh, I'm probably going to get a huge backlash on that. But that's the way of the world. Uh, is there alcohol on trains? Yes. You can purchase it in the dining car. You can purchase it in the cafe car. You can even bring alcohol onto the train and consume it in, the, in your own cabin should you want. How do I find the cost of uh, reserve, of dining for coach folks? That you can find on Amtrak.com. What sort of payments are available on board? Mostly debit, credit card, and cash. Uh, they don't take a check. Someone asked if that if their daughter has uh, a thing for thrift shopping, if it's available on the itineraries. Well, we're going to put you up for a couple of nights in each destination. What you do at that destination, that's up to you. Sure, why not? Uh, is Wi-Fi on the trains? Some. Uh, on the regional trains, yes. On the long-distance trains, not currently, but they are working at it. So the Wi-Fi is available on regional trains, as I just mentioned. People are asking if I can elaborate. It is on like the Northeast Regional, the Pacific Surf Liner, et cetera. The long distance trains that go through the mountains, you know, forests, what, desert, what have you, the Wi Fi service is not entirely great there. Imagine being in the middle of the desert in Nevada. It's not going to run too great. I've done it myself. Uh, what we suggest is checking with your local provider, uh, what, whatever you use for your phones and internet. Uh, but, you know, remember, folks, the benefit is you're seeing scenery, beauty that you don't normally see that's only visible from the train. So just keep that in mind. Uh, what are the facilities for shower and coach? There is no shower for coach. Someone asked, are hair dryers, curling irons allowed in bedrooms? No. And I'm saying that hard no. Those are hair dryers and curlers and whatnot can be utilized in the bathrooms down the hall, but they are not for utilization in the roomettes or bedrooms. It will blow out the power. I can tell you myself, I traveled on the train. There is a placard that quite literally says, do not use those items in the room. Guess what? A woman in the room used those items and the power was out for the duration of the travel. Do not do that. Does the bedroom charge per person or per room? It charges per person plus a room fee. So you're going to get charged per ticket and for the room itself. All right. Well, I got a few people saying go 49ers. I'm not going to make a comment there. It's Super Bowl week. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. Um, as someone's asking for ADA, if it's a lower upper, are they both lower? It's lower and upper. Uh, as for where to purchase, you know, uh, things, souvenirs um, and whatnot and where to store them, that's just in your own luggage. We don't really have another place to put that. Um, it's just whatever is in your luggage. And um, 
That's how you go. No, so someone's asking for me to follow up with my little anecdote about the hair dryers or the curlers and when I traveled on the train and it got blown out. So no one, just to give you an idea, no one in my room, we were a room of two guys. We had we had six guys in three rooms in the roomette. A woman in another room, I didn't know who she was, utilized the hair dryer in the roomette, which specifically had a placard that said, do not do that. And the the power for the entire roomette car was out for the whole 24 hours. So do not utilize them. Uh, I, you, we can't guarantee the same room for the whole trip. If you get on and off the train, you're going to be switching rooms most likely. Is there a way to charge devices in coach? Yes, there are outlets. Now, folks, we've got so many other questions. I wish I could answer them all. I want to thank you for signing on to the presentation. If you didn't get your question answered, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-268-7252. And I want to say a special shout out to Lawrence, who was basically the Laurel to my hearty on this presentation. Uh, and, and thank you for signing on, Lawrence. You were pretty helpful. You should sign on to other ones as well. Let's 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 get something going. We can take this on a row. We got a whole vaudeville thing going on. Uh, but I hope everybody has a great day.